Welcome back to the Marvel Trivia Law with Notch Force in the background. <laughs> it's all this show is now, isn't it? Uh, Barrel Man, part one. We haven't got we have got a part of Barrel Person. Barrel right. Person. Yeah. <laughs> Coming soon to Rick and Morty. <laughs> so we'll have to see if we can get the rest of it. <laughs> is that just fight more Barrel people? Pretty much. Yeah. Captain America. Sad night. Oh. Neo Elementary. Right. So new elementary. Yep. Or just where Tom went to school. <laughs> Gregory? <laughs> Gregory, why are you playing so, with toys in the classroom? So those those death bugs are literally eyes on sticks that shoot more bullets. That's all they do. They can't they can move slightly. <laughs> are we sure this wasn't designed See? by children? <laughs> Like can't do anything and the die in one shot. I feel like the creativity in this is just like some kids anime <laughs> and they went, Dad, make me an anime and he's like, You know I work in game design, son. We've had this conversation. And he's like, Well do it anyway and He's like, Fine. And he made this game and now his kid was like, It's not good enough. <laughs> it's never good enough. And he's like, Oh god, Greg <laughs> Oh god, I'm stuck in the desk. I'm actually stuck <laughs> inside the desk. Just, just like the dad's nightmare. There, we go. there you go. Well, you know, clips into a desk. That I was didn't a know secret. Clip into it. I just went into the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> they designed the drawer in. That's yeah, amazing. That's really redundant. <laughs> <laughs> nice attention to detail. Yeah, I was gonna say it's <laughs> like yeah, it's like we're gonna spend all the attention to detail. It's like I just wanted my designs. Although to be fair, if it's his kids' designs, his kids got some issues. <laughs> Everything's evil eye on sticks and well, the death force. Yeah, and it's got like cigarette lighters for hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean the, the death bombs that have, have a literal cigarette light for a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> but we're fighting a cowboy that shoots shotgun that has two giant shotguns on his back. <laughs> Ninjas versus cowboys. Everyone wanted it. It happened. <laughs> Only in Gotch. Twenty seventeen. <laughs> Or like 1995, whatever. <laughs> 2003? I don't know when this game came out. We we said before, look yeah, back. <laughs> Go back to the first episode. Yeah. Tell the cat just put it in right now. <laughs> and now we've had that. <laughs> I want a Valkyrie night look. They do look cool. Do you know what else looks cool? What? Everything <laughs> that has Valkyries in it, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Ride of the Valkyries is awesome. They use it a lot. That's opinionated, but okay. Thor. When, it's not even come out yet. <laughs> no, I just mean Thor in general. The, All the, right. the myth. <laughs> <Yeah>. the, myth. <laughs> the comic Thor, if you want to go as well. There you go. And the movies. The the series Valkyrie. Which is about a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> which was about a helicopter. But it, it, had a, it was a Valkyrie. <laughs> <laughs> But it wasn't a Valkyrie like a winged woman. No, but but that passes judgment. It was about a helicopter. Okay, look, Airwolf was big at the time. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so to make a copy of it. <laughs> they did it with every other sitcom ever. <laughs> Full House, all of the sequels to that. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, all of the different versions people had of that. Happy Days. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't do the Fonz in any other way, though. You'll always be the Fonz. You do it backwards. You do it more. Like Nega Fonz. <laughs> I got one! You got it! Hey, go. Stop Ring Valkyrie. Yep. There's different kinds. You liked it. So I'll put a ring on it. Exactly. See if I can actually put it in my team. Goodbye, Ninja. Is she... Is she... The new Mercy? <laughs> <laughs> Should have picked Mercy. Should have picked Mercy. Should have picked any kind of spot. I need to protect my own room. Is she a healer? It protects no, your own room. Maybe you should have done with that first. Work <laughs> out. Protect your room. They're just like there in the bedroom. Go, where is he? We've been we've been here for ages. <laughs> oh, press B. Yay! You know you've back. just got magnet guy as your sidekick. Yeah. Well, then we'll see what happens. <laughs> Kitsune. More eyes on sticks. More eyes on sticks. More eyes on sticks. More eyes on sticks. I can't move. Oh no, so. they have a death dragon. 
I will be surprised if a dragon does show up now. <laughs> that would definitely in make things room. a bit more interesting. You one shot in those guys. Yeah, like I said, they they can't move and they take one shot to die. So they're just <laughs> annoying support. Oh, they've spawned more. It's there to fill out the roster. <laughs> Well, the thing is, if I want to actually get one, like if you want to complete the collection of having all the gotcha balls, you have, to, have, you have to keep playing levels with these in them until it gives you one. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. So this, I think this is the best level for trying to get one. Makes sense because there's like a hundred, but they are rare. Yeah, like super rare. <laughs> oh, magnet guy, nice work. If I also remember, the death balls are all named. Like they have, there's twenty there's they have names like Gary. Well, the <laughs> maybe <laughs> um, the names are Death Bog and then uh, they have a Greek letter afterwards. Oh, so cool! So like Alpha, Death Bog, Alpha, Alpha Sigma. Gamma. Yeah. yeah. I don't know which ones which to so <laughs> Trying to get that information out of me, but I just remember that that was <laughs> how they were all named. And it's I remember cool. one of them is literally just a, it's, it's it's an eyeball with legs yeah. that eyeball. has one health. And could shoot one bullet. Nice. That does. I'm five guessing that damage. might be Zeta. <laughs> <laughs> You're down the totem pole there. Far, far down. <laughs> Screw up in the barrel, guys. <laughs> I like that. You like that was proper anime posing. Yeah. Posing right in front of a. <laughs> he put his arms up and you put them like crossed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's Avril. <laughs> I don't know a real Super name. cool, like early millennial girl yeah. person with rabbit on hat. She's the love interest of this anime. <laughs> Is she? Well, she's like the one that your best friend. She's either that or the su Tsunade. <laughs> Have you say that? <laughs> I don't know what the. I don't know enough anime tropes. <laughs> yeah, but that 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 will only be explored in arc two yeah. after the time skip. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Like um, and then you have the the, the next time skip where it's their kids. Yeah, their parent. They got together off screen <laughs> just for the fan fiction hashtag, to fill in. Hashtag Naruto. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag grey eyes. <laughs> white dragon. White dragon. That's white dragon. <laughs> what are you gonna do if I just rip your card in half? <laughs> the duel's over. <laughs> No one ever did that in the show. <laughs> Although they did rip it in half in one episode, but it was like not. Well, it was the whole thing like the first the first duel it has it uses Exodia, doesn't it? Yeah. And then the very next episode they're on a boat and <laughs> there's that really geeky annoying villain guy oh, who, who just, just throws, throws it them into the water. He's like, well, you can't have that. <laughs> That's not fair. And it's like, well, yeah. To be fair, I know it's plot reasons why they got rid of it, but. I Come think on. they got rid of it, so can't, they can't just say, well, he just wins with Exodia. Exodia, yeah, it's the point. You have to have real stakes for a card game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> you know, right, if you're going to commit to a show, right, you can make a good show out of anything. I maintain this. This has been proven by the fact that people still talk about Yu Gi Oh! Um, I don't get how they made Yu Gi Oh! They made the anime before they made the actual card game. Yeah. But they just had to change the rules for the card game so it was actually balanced compared to the <coughs> anime where Yugi just cheats his ass off. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> when Karibo. Karibo just has so many effects on it that just aren't stated anywhere in the rules. Yeah. I make infinity Karibo. <laughs> I use this trap card which activates my other trap card which activates Karibo! <laughs> it's always the way I it summon was. Dark Magician. <laughs> because. Yes, <laughs> I always I summon Dark Magician. I have about seven of him in my deck, apparently. <laughs> and that's uh, totally not against the rules. I have like 900 cards in my deck because this episode needs to run on another two more episodes. <laughs> Can't fatigue out. <laughs> See, I just like... Should have had that weak spin like Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That would have made the anime interesting if sometimes it just didn't spin up properly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's just like, oh, I didn't pull my card hard enough. Can we do it again? <laughs> just like the meta of it would be great. That's the issue I have with Beyblade anime, right? It's, they take it so much serious and they're like a full competition. This is a world where like clearly no other sport evolved. <laughs> no, because they even reference basketball and uh, America football in the anime. So, so this shouldn't be that niche. 
<laughs> for Bay Plain. Yeah, shouldn't be that many people there. Like, roller derby doesn't get that many people. Spinning tops fighting each other with five-year-old children that somehow make ghosts appear in it should not have that many people and a DJ. <laughs> DJ announcer. There we go. I do like how all the way through it's pretty much the same announcer because, like, realism to some extent, there wouldn't be more than one. <laughs> yeah. It's just his job. He takes on charge of everything. Oh, God, Spinner Spin Girl. Because it's a yo-yo. If you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. It's Viking yo-yo, though, because... I bet that was an anime. Yo-yos. Yeah. <laughs> yo-yo anime. <laughs> I can do walking the dog. <laughs> I can do the cradle. Oh, no. He is doing around the world. <laughs> no one's gone that far. <laughs> What's this? He's bringing out a second yo-yo. <laughs> And somehow they have like the ghost of his dead father in it or something. He was the best yo-yo legend ever, and he finds like a legendary yo-yo yep. yo like that a, his father had. Like a solid gold yo-yo. He's possessed by a ghost or something. <laughs> yeah. And it's like the evil corporation is secretly just doing it for drugs. <laughs> but we will take them down. And they're like, we will use these yo-yos to summon our leader from the nether dimension. <laughs> Who was cast out by the Egyptians? Use the seven <laughs> legendary yo-yos to be spinning simultaneously. Yeah. Right the, the next the yo-yo, yeah. <laughs> the yo-yo portal of doom <laughs> has go. to be done on the yo-iest day <laughs> of the day that like, exactly the moon goes in and out from the earth. Yeah, every time. <laughs> I have the power of the tides. <laughs> Oh, Yo-Yo the anime. <laughs> yeah, we've written a new hit anime. You just know like, the main one. character's got like spiky hair, but he's got a quiff that's like a Yo-Yo. <laughs> like a perfectly spherical quiff. <laughs> <laughs> With a spiral in it. Uh, this is the prequel series to Yo-Yo the anime. <laughs> gotcha Falls. <laughs> they tied together about as loosely as every series of Naruto. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, watch out for the Yo Yo the anime. Coming soon. <laughs> It'll be a comic series first. Yeah, we'll do it as a manga. <laughs> I've got to have been sped up. We'll do it as a manga in. Was it like Shonen Jump? Yeah, it's Shonen Jump's the one that. Yeah, that launches them all. Well, not all of no. them. The, the, it launches the a, action anime yeah, one. Yeah, there's, there's a very specific niche to Shonen anime. Like it's, My Hero Academia and yeah, Naruto. It's gonna have like a lot of characters with different powers and they fight each other. Because that's why Bleach did really well, because it just kept introducing new characters in Shonen Jump. Was it The Simpsons? Kind of. <laughs> uh, it was because they were set all in one town and everyone wanted to <laughs> be in that town and they all had different powers and connect like different character things. And the, the thing with Bleach was you wanted to, no matter what character were in it, even if they were annoying, they always had backstory as anime does, but they did it in fight scenes because anime. But they always had different levels as well, and the swords changed, so the designs and outfits changed, and the guy who made it just wanted to draw characters. <laughs> he didn't do plot, bless him. I mean, he had some good plots in there, I'm not going to say he didn't, and I'm sure he had some help too, but... His character designs <laughs> were cool. That was the point, he liked drawing them. And he like just that's why every season there was on even the filler arcs he was like oh yeah have some of my other designs I didn't use for the main series won't be referenced ever again yeah but they did it better in the anime so like, at least they kept the characters that survived those arcs in <laughs> <laughs> they had real reasons to be there I mean they weren't as good as some of the proper arcs sure but like the bount arc was interesting which was their take on vampires which is pretty cool <laughs> speaking of vampires. Segway. Segway. Overwatch. Segway! Overwatch. Halloween event. Coming up. This might already be happening when you're watching this. Yeah. May is Not getting a uh, Chinese vampire skin. Ooh. That looks interesting. I like Chinese vampires. They're more interesting. Well, they're, they're an interesting the take. <laughs> they do hop. This is true. Yes. They hop and they have that tag thing on the head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. They look nope. more like zombies than they vampires, do look more like zombies. They, well, they look more like the traditional vampire, like Stoker has. Explain. Right. In the in the folklore of, like, not Transylvania, like Romania, whatever, where it came from initially, it was more werewolfy. 
because they had to silver stake them and they were pretty much just reanimated corpses um, and they'd come out if they'd not like been properly buried or they'd not washed the linen or something. <laughs> literally, look the into clothes. it, there is a whole load of ridiculous stuff and it's fascinating because you can see like being one of the earliest legends like it's it's pretty interesting. It's in lots of cultures though. Like the dragon is in a lot of cultures, which is why it probably had some base in fact. Probably just a big lizard. Yeah, but <laughs> there's different kinds of dragons. Obviously there's the western dragon, which is the, the one with wings and, and claws, feet yeah. and, and then everything. Then and then there's the Chinese dragon, which really is just long. a snake yeah. that flies. Yeah. Maybe has front feet. Yeah. That's about it. It's pretty cool though. And there's, uh, yeah, it's like the vampire is... The, the way it works is there's sort of like three versions of classic vampire you can see in like literature and mythology and stuff. There's Stokers, which is like the traditional vampire, which is where they are literally a reanimated corpse that needs to drink. Traditional like Nosferatu, very pale, very like sunken, pointed teeth. Um, and uh, sort of like spend a lot of day and nights in coffins <laughs> and come out like only to hunt. And they climb up and they're very much like animalistic and like sort of like climbing on walls and stuff and being very creepy. If you've ever seen the movie Nosferatu or the great sort of making of parody movie, um, which was called, I believe, something nice with Camp It's like it's got um it's got Willem not Willem yeah Willem Grace. Willem, Willem, Willem Dafoe? Willem. I don't know. It's got someone in Willem, it. Willem William Willem He's very, very good. <laughs> it's his name Willem, is it William? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, he's also Willem de Friend. <laughs> sometimes it's Willem de Fer, sometimes it's Willem de Friend. Yeah. Um, and then there's the other kind of, like, the newer type of vampire, which is, like, Dracula Twilight. from remakes onwards, where he's very suave, and he's very, like, it's a person who's cursed, and has the, uh, sort of, like, the bloodlust. Think Buffy. <laughs> um, Think Buffy the vampire. Style. Yeah, where, like, they Not are still far. a monster, but... It's like the human facade is there to like lure them in with like sex appeal and like charm and stuff. And then there's the different vampire, which is sort of like from more other cultures, where they they're pretty much just a person, but they transform into like a hideous bat creature. Hideous bat creature, like a Batman. It's like the bat on the some inside sort of, of some sort. <laughs> yeah, a man who's kind of a bat. And on that note, vampires out. Yeah. Join us next time.